Hi guys, number one iPod Touch Helper here, and I'm going to show you how to get iOS 5 on your iPod Touch, iPhone, iPod, any iDevice, except for the Apple TV, um, without your UD ID registered with Apple, which costs like over £100 or dollars a year. So, first of all, you want to download the torrent or the file from this website, link will be in the description, and you want to scroll down to your iPod Touch and hit this download file or you can download the torrent alright that one doesn't seem to be working I'm going to download the torrent here and it will come the torrent ok next thing you want to do is whenever you've got that all installed it's a pretty big file you want to go into your iPod ok and you want to press um, the shift key up and hit restore. I think it's a shift key, and then scroll down till you see iPod Touch 4 iOS 5. Double click on that and hit restore. Okay. It says verifying with Apple. Now you just want to let that load. I'll pause the video whenever it's on the Apple. I'll pause the video until it's on the Apple logo. Okay guys, still loading. Um, I'm going to do a series of four episodes on iOS 5. Number one will be how to get iOS 5, which is this video. The second one will be jailbreak for iOS 5. And the third one will be just to tour around iOS 5 and how to downgrade iOS 5. Okay, as you can see, it is syncing. And now the Apple logo will load up. I'm on my iPod Touch 4th generation. As you can see at the top, it is saying preparing iPod for restore. There we go. There it is loading. And I'll come back whenever it's done. Okay, it's been several minutes and it's almost halfway there. And it should take about five minutes to download the iOS 5. If you notice at the top on iTunes, it will be a lot uh, quicker, like on the status bar, but on your iPod Touch, it will be a bit slower. So just be patient. Okay guys, it is almost done, just about a bar left, at the top it says it's done, it's just verifying iPod. Okay, whenever this here is done, it will do a reboot. Okay, we're almost done, keep this in focus, there's my camera. And guys, if you have looked at my other videos, just please subscribe. I'm doing a lot of videos now and it it helps me a lot if you would subscribe. So it takes ten seconds and that's it just helps me out a lot. Okay, it is done. There we go. Hooray. Okay, we messages came up saying your iPod has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPod connected. This message will disappear. No. Okay, it will reboot up and I will come back to you in a second. Okay guys, just another wee note. The loading screen will come back up and as you can see, it will go very fast. And there we go. It's now rebooting. And it says there on the, the computer that your iTunes cannot be supported and you need 10.5. So the links are in description as well. So here we go, we are in the iPod iOS 5 setup. Scroll, swipe to setup. But we're not going to do that because we don't have our UDID registered. Now, if you will get across till it says verifying with Apple and it will not work. So we trick, triple tap the home button. Voice over arm will come over. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but I found this out. If you hit the, the iPod or the Wi-Fi bars, 
here. Okay, this will be very quick. It, exactly, it'll be very quick. So look, three finger swipe. Okay, do it three times. Oh, there we go. This normally takes people a long time to do. Okay, now you want to triple tap the home button again. Voiceover is off. Click the top button there. And, oh, just get my internet on. And hit the home button. You're in iOS 5. So I'm just going to give you a wee look around. Here we go. See? Yeah. Uh -huh.